All right, I'm jumping out. I'm jumping out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh, I couldn't get in. No, come back. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And I'm going to not take too long for this intro because we are on a time limit. And we have to... We have, what, six... Oh, five minutes now to collect the safety inspectors from the airport and transport them to the crude oil company tanker. And uh, I think if I'm in the workbench, I think this pauses time. So we're going to... We're going to go in here for a second. Here's the boat that I built last time. I built it backwards and um, it doesn't work well because it, it has a feedback loop of like waving back and forth. And there's two different things that I'm thinking are causing this. One is these flat sides here. Um, even though in the previous versions of Stormworks, I had a boat that had a similar design and it didn't seem to have an issue. Um, I'm thinking that the water might be hitting the flat sides and pushing one side, then the other back and forth. The other thing is my engines... I have two sets of engines, one on the left, one on the right, and I'm thinking these could also be a cause of that because as the boat turns and then tries to straighten out, one side of the engines are higher in the water than the other and maybe might come out of the water a little bit and then it creates like a back and forth, like one side gets power, the other side gets power or friction in the water. So I'm thinking we're just gonna try moving the engines more centered and see if that makes a difference as well. So first thing I'm gonna try, which I think will be a little bit less time consuming is Let's just move these engines a little bit more into the center. We had six engines. All right, so this is my solution. This is weird and it makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I was able to put the engines directly or the propellers directly next to each other. So uh, they're intersecting and this shouldn't work, but it let me do it. And I'm assuming that there's no collisions that are gonna be happening here. But now they're actually centered in the boat. I gotta sneeze. gone. It'll come back later. Well, they're centered in the boat, so I'm hoping that that is going to actually allow us to not have that wavering thing happening anymore. All right, so we spawned in the new boat with the new engine position. It had a little bit of weird lag there, so let's hope that this thing works. Uh, I think I can just turn everything on, go ahead and head backwards. All right, the engines are not colliding with each other, so that is good. So now let's see, where, are, where do we have to go? We have six minutes to do this. Uh, let's activate the mission. Uh, see where this is. This is 1.7 kilometers. That shouldn't be a problem. Now let's see if we have the feedback loop thing going on with our new engine position. Hopefully not. All right, doing. Oh, whoa. Okay. All right, we're having some uh, some planing issues. Uh, all right, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. All right. Uh, let's see if we can go straight. Let's try to go straight. Oh, going straight harder than. Harder than it looks. It's wavy. It's a little bit windy. It's a little bit rainy. This is gonna be interesting when the the uh, the people have to pick up the people. How they're gonna respond to this? Apparently, there's new AI, and apparently, they can actually drive things around now. So I don't know how that's gonna work yet. But I'm feeling better. I'm feeling like this isn't this isn't having the sway issue nearly as much. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Completed mission. Wait, what? What? Why is the mission completed? Is anyone else confused? It just told me I completed the the mission, right? What? No missions available. What just? Are we just that good at it? All right. So the only thing about this boat right now is uh, the engines. I think are almost a little bit too powerful. They make my the front end lift way out of the water with all that power. But I think this is actually the oil tanker we, that we had to come up and expect, inspect rather, and uh, it, it made us complete the mission before we even got to it. So I at least want to get here and see what this oil tanker is all about. Alright, so here's the oil tanker. It's got like a helipad on it and everything. What is on the helipad? What is that? Doesn't it look like a magnet or something? Alright, well, um, that was a really easy mission. A little bit too easy. So let's go home. We're gonna click to take the workbench and let's sleep off and see what the next mission is going to be. Maybe it'll be a little bit more difficult or should we make adjustments to this in the meantime though? Yes, yes, there is an adjustment that I wanted to make to this and that is to close this area off because we were having a terrible time with our crates falling out and I don't think we actually need this to be, uh, have this opening here. We can just jump over it. There we go. And there's a possible solution. I'm going to make one adjustment here with these. I'm actually going to move these up a little bit 
And um, my reasoning for that is right now my my force of propulsion is way below my center of gravity, which I think is more likely to make my boat tip upwards as it pushes forwards. So I think if my force of propulsion is closer to the center of gravity, it'd be more likely to push me straight and less likely to, at least less extreme of uh, tipping the nose upwards. So I'm just gonna move these things up. All right, the engines have been adjusted. Let's head up into bed. We're gonna sleep and figure out what the next mission is. Okay, mission available, drone deployment. So that sounds interesting, and it's a nighttime mission, which is kind of unfortunate, but, uh, oh, lights. Wait, we don't have lights. I don't think we have lights. I'm actually not too sure. Well, we're gonna see if we can actually put lights on our vehicle. I'm not sure if we actually have them, but there's only one way to find out, but I should probably read the mission as well. Oh, what's my light? V? There we go. Now I have my own flashlight, at least. All right, let's, uh, open up the map here. We're gonna open up, open up our missions, deploy an underwater research drone. 11, we have an hour to do this. What does this even mean? All right, what what do I have to... All right, I have to go over here. And then I have to go... I don't know what I have to do for... Oh, I guess... I don't know what I have to do first. I got two targets. Drone, drop-off. Oh, well, that answers my question. I gotta go pick up a drone. Oh, man, this is gonna be actually really interesting. Let's see, do I have lights? Please tell me I have lights. Searchlight, yes. Light and searchlight. All right, we can do this. All right, our boat now has a searchlight on it, so this should be interesting, and it has some headlights as well. So let's go ahead and test these out really quick. Let's go into tab here. So I can turn my light off, I can turn the boat lights on. All right, that's okay, and the searchlight. Oh, and I should be able to rotate it. Is it rotating? Oh, that's pretty slow, but wow, look at how... Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, it defaults back to a certain position, so I definitely want to adjust that. I thought I was going to be able to rotate it any way that I want and then leave it where I set it, but that's not the case. I have to have it pointing in the direction that I want, and then I have to rotate it. All right, so now this should work a little bit. Whoa, I jumped really far. My frames are a little bit low right now. I'm not sure why they're so low, but uh, we'll just deal with it. And turn our lights off. Let's turn the boat lights on, and now let's turn the spotlight on. Oh, look at that spotlight. So now I can go up. If I let go, it returns back to the front ways position. I can go down as well. Oh, that is bright. All right, you know what? Let's just uh, let's turn our engines on. And let's go ahead and start searching for this drone. How far away is it? 1.5 kilometers. That's not bad. And we go around this way. All right, so now the problem... I may have put my... Uh-oh. I may have put my engines a little bit too high, actually, now that I'm looking at them. We'll find out. We'll see how this works. Is this feeling okay? Where are my engines? I can't see. It's too dark. They're underwater, but look, we're not having the issue anymore. We're not having the uh, the issue of our nose going up. So it definitely helped, but we're slower, and that's because I think our, our propellers are not having as much contact with water as they were before. But that's just something that we're going to have to deal with. And I probably should have put my searchlight a little bit higher. It's glaring off of my, uh, my windshield there. All right, but we have... How long to complete this mission? I believe we have like 30 minutes to complete this mission. Oh, an hour to complete this mission. No problem. Two hours. I I hope it's no problem. How long does it take to deploy a drone? We're going to find out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We just got another mission. Hold on a second. Runaway speedboat. Shut the speedboat's engine down and deliver it back to its owner. 14 minutes to do this one. It's a speedboat, though. Where is this? Where is this? What? It's way over there? Uh... That seems like a tough mission. And my engines do not seem cut out for speedboat chasing right now. But we only have 14 minutes to do that one. Ugh. Uh, Alright, you know what? We're going back. We're going back. We have an hour to complete this one, so we're gonna put this one on hold. How do I get back? Alright, double click. Go to workbench. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my engines to go down a little bit more um, so that we have kind of like the mid-range between our two adjustments. So what I should have to do is just delete my top ones and then make a hole underneath, and I should just be able to add three more under there, and then we should be able to go a little bit faster because of this. All right, here we go. Let's go catch this speedboat. We should be faster now. I hope we're faster. We're going to find out. Uh, turn my spotlight on. Spotlight actually helps a lot. All right, come on, go forward, turn. I am really an idiot for building this thing backwards, but there's no way for me to rotate it. Come on, come on, there we go. I just turn, uh-oh, 
Uh-oh. 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 We're good. We're good. I think we're good. Are we good? We're good. Okay, good. So now we have to go really far. Really, really far. How long is that? Six kilometers. We have 15 minutes to go six kilometers, catch the speedboat, return it to its owner, and then we can go get the drone. All right, so I'm just gonna cut over there unless something interesting happens along the way. I'm not predicting that much, but uh, I'll see you at the speedboat. Oh boy, I'm watching. <laughs> so here, I'm, I'm going toward the speedboat right now, but I zoomed in on the map and you can see it moving farther and farther away from its owner. So how does that compare to our speed? How fast are we going? I, I hope we're going faster. I feel like we're going faster than the boat. Does it look like we're going faster? I think we are. Oh, uh, so that means this is gonna be a this is gonna this is gonna get farther and farther away as we get closer to it. So um, we're at 4.8 kilometers, so we are making progress at least. And I'm also noticing, look at our boat. We're we're nice and flat. We're not as fast, but we're nice and flat, and we're not having that feedback loop going on anymore. So it seems like my engine positioning was the main factor there. So I'm glad we at least solved that. All right. Onward we go. All right, we're checking back in with an update. This boat is getting farther and farther away from its owner, and I'm realizing now why this is uh, not such an easy mission. We're slowly catching up to it. You can see there's definitely a big difference in speed between us and the boat, but uh, we're definitely going to have some work to do once we get it. I don't know how hard it's going to be to stop it or get onto it, but Logan's going to try. 1.8 kilometers to go. Ooh, and I just want to share this with you guys. It looks like the sunrise is starting to come up. I think that's the moon setting over there. Oh, there comes the sun. I just want to share this nice and serene, beautiful moment with you all as we leave that guy stranded in the ocean as we go chase down his runaway speedboat. There's an odd sense of calm despite a, amidst a life-threatening tragedy here. Whoa, 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 we got some plants coming out of the- Whoa, this is pretty shallow. Right, let's point our, our light down into the water. Oh, uh, I should put this light a little bit. Oh, there's a fish! I saw a fish! Did you guys see that? There was a little fish there. Look, there's fish over here. Exciting. Exciting things. All right. Oh, whoa, is that a shark? Oh, no, that's a... It's a, uh... What do you call it? The swordfish. Swordfish, that's what it is. The pointy nose. So that's kind of cool. That was my first time seeing sea life. All right, I think we're starting to catch up to the boat. Hopefully we don't bottom ourselves out here. Oh, that's actually... It's kind of shallow here. Oh, it's nice and quiet underwater. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a rock here. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Get off. Get off. Get off. Oh. Oh, that was close. We almost beached ourselves on like a sand barge or something there. All right. Well, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that that wasn't the end of the mission. That would have been really frustrating. All right. I think we can turn our lights off now. How much longer do we have to go? 800 meters. All right. We're making it. How much time do we have? We've got seven and a half minutes to get this boat, and then we gotta bring it, oh, 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 we gotta bring it all the way back over there. So hopefully, given that it's a speed boat, hopefully it's actually going to be speedy. So check out all this, like, l plant life and stuff. It's actually getting kind of shallow here. We should be careful, not get too close to the land. All right, 600 meters to go. Man, this is taking a lot longer than I've been expecting it to be taking. How much time we have? Six minutes left. All right, we're catching up though. Look at us. Look at us go. Look at these two dots go. I can't actually see the boat yet. I just see the red marker, but we're slowly closing in. You can see the distance decreasing, but it's not as quick as it should be for a stationary object because we're literally just chasing this speedboat down. I hope, I hope we can get it. I hope we can stop this thing. This is going to be dangerous. This is going to be risky. I'm worried that I'm going to jump out and try to get into it, and then I'm going to miss, and then it's just going to, like, go away from me, and then my boat's going to go away from me, too. All right, here we go. Can we stop it? Can we stop the speedboat? Is this full speed for this thing? Because if so, we're going to have a slow time getting back. All right, runaway speedboat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in front of it. Yes. 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 Okay. All right, I'm jumping out. I'm jumping out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, I couldn't get in. No, come back. All right, this is actually really hard. 
All right, come on. Come on. Come on, speedboat. Stop. Oh, oh, am I flipping it over? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. What if I just turn the speedboat back towards its owner? Then we could just like both go together to its owner. This might work. All right, actually, let's see. Can I jump into the speedboat? Come on, come on. Eh, eh, eh. No, no, no. Oh, that's bad. Come on, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Okay, at least now it's heading back on a trajectory towards its owner. So we're not making negative progress now, even if we miss the boat. All right, come on. Come on, speedboat. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. All right, all right, all right. There we go. All right, what if we just pull in front of... Oh, what if it goes on my back? Like, uh, up onto my lip here. All right, let's try to pull in front. All right, easier said than done trying to straighten out in front of this thing. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm going to get out. Come on, go, 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 go. All right, this should work. I think this should work. All right, yes. And then, huh. Get on. Yes, it's working. And then in the seat. All right, we did it. We did it. We're in the boat. Uh, but now we're stuck on our boat. Wait, wait, wait. No, we can do this. We can get off. There we go. We did it. We caught the speedboat. All right, now we're just going to bring it back to his owner, which is 3.6 kilometers away. And the speedboat actually is slower than our boat, probably because it only has a single engine. What is that stuff? What is that stuff on there? That's stuff I'm not familiar with. All right, let's take a look at this thing. All right, it's a nice looking speedboat. Is that an engine? I feel like if that's an engine, this thing should be going much faster than it is. Are there buttons that I don't know about? I don't know how to control this thing. I'm gonna press number one. Whoops, whoops, I turned it off. Whoa, whoa. This thing just got a lot faster. What? What? What's going on? Uh, I don't know who owns this boat, but, uh, this thing is a little bit difficult to control. What is happening right now? How am I supposed to- What is going on? Why is this happening? Whoa, is that a- What was that? That was a big fish, it looked like. Alright, let's turn that off. Whatever that- Whatever that is. Alright, can we just go casually? I don't- Alright, we're stuck now. All right, why is this thing so fast all of a sudden? All right, I'm just gonna try to ramp up slowly so we don't like flip ourselves over. All right. Okay. Now, this is a speedboat. Here we go. This is more like it. All right. Look at that. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 none of that, none of that, none of that. This thing's surprisingly hard to control at fast speed. All right, I think we're going to be okay, though. How much time do we have? Three minutes. Three minutes, and he's right over... He's way over there. Okay. 2.3 kilometers in three minutes in a speedboat. We can do this. Just don't lose control. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. 700... Oh, 700 meters left. This thing has been a little bit finicky to control. Like, when it slams down into the water, uh, you have to really ramp up your speed slowly after that happens. Otherwise, your nose just flips over. All right, but we're going to return this to the owner. I hope he's going to be happy. There's an extra seat in here. Are we supposed to... Is he supposed to drive us back somewhere? Because how are we supposed to get back other than fast traveling from his boat? Or was I supposed to use my boat as well? Was I supposed to grab this thing with my boat? Am I stranded now? Well, there's an extra seat, so... Whoa! Did I just kill him? All right, here's your boat, mister. Your boat... I'll turn it off. There you go. Here, you want your, you want your boat? Do I have to, uh, EQ follow, hold, pick up, ca oh, all right, I picked him up, uh, here you go. What do I do? What, uh, this is your boat, right? What, what do you want? What do you want? Shut the speedboat's engine down and deliver it back to its owner. All right, the engine's down, right? What if I get in the passenger seat? Come on, mister. Take your boat. Follow. Follow me. Follow me. Here's your boat. Take. Take it. Take. I thought your AI was supposed to be improved. 
Hey, at least you had a mask and, and uh, hey, at least you had a mask and a snorkel on, right? All right, pilot seat. Is that the engine? On. Off. It's yours. Take it. Take. Take your boat. Whoa. Where'd he go? What happened to him? No, take your boat. It's yours. I only have a few minutes here. I got 50 seconds. Come on, take the boat. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Please, follow me. Follow me, this is your boat. You can have it. I went through all this work to give you your boat. Please, just take the boat. I have a drone to put in the ocean here. Come on. Up into the boat. It's yours. This is... Do you not understand? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why won't you take the boat? Uh, what am I missing? Like, is there something obvious that I'm missing here? Alright, what if I just turn the engine on? I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna pilot. I'm gonna try to get that red dot, that red runaway speedboat sign. Alright. Oh, oh, come on. Right there. Here you go. Now, now ready? Engine off. And... Engine off it's yours please just take it please take the boat oh my god why won't you not why are you stupid what i got six seconds you're gonna cost me thirty five hundred dollars man you just cost me thirty five hundred dollars because you don't know how you don't, you don't even recognize your own speedboat here all right come on let's just let's just Place character. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah! I can actually place them in seats now. I couldn't do that in the previous alpha version. You couldn't place them in the seats. I thought he would get in the seat. All right. Well, we missed out on the cash. At least we got the other parts, whatever they were. I don't. I don't even see what they were anymore. All right. Now we have another mission. We have transport safety inspectors to the oil rig. And then we have deploy an underwater research drone. And we now no longer have access to our boat. What if we what if we get in the passenger seat? Is he gonna drive us around? I mean he turned his boat on. I don't see him doing anything. Alright, you know what? Let's just uh let's get our wait, so where do we have to go next? Let's go and look at our missions. We have deploy an underwater research drone, which is way down by our home. And then this which is over there. So let's do the research drone one for the last part of the episode. And in order to do this, we're going to grab our boat. We are here, our boat's here. We're gonna take it to the workbench and then continue on our way. Huh, that was, that was a chore and a half, wasn't it? All right, off we go. I've made some minor adjustments. I've moved the searchlight up. So now it shouldn't nearly interfere as much with our, uh, our cockpit there. It's still a little bit, but not too much. And I've also moved our engines down a little bit more slightly. Oh, that's a big fish. There's a lot of big fish here. I moved our engine down just a little bit more, or our propellers down a little bit more, so I think we're going to be faster again. And yes, we are. And it looks like it's a healthy medium between speed and uh, tipping our nose up. All right, now let's see. We need to go over there to get this drone. I have no idea what this mission means, deploying a drone. I don't know if we have to... Oh, I hope... I hope we don't have to carry the... Hold on. Are there mission details? Deploy an underwater research drone. Drone. I I don't know... I don't know what this means. I don't know if we actually have to, like, carry this thing with our boat. Or if this means something completely different. But I don't... This boat is not equipped to carry a drone, I don't think. Unless I can pick it up and put it in my boat. Because before we've had drone missions where we actually had connectors and we had to drag it kind of tow like tow hook connectors and we had to drag it behind our boat and i don't know if this has anything to do with that but we're gonna find out 1.3 kilometers to go all right we're approaching the island and it worries me that the drone is way up on the land like is this gonna be an aerial thing like it's an underwater drone but are we gonna have to like i i just i don't even understand i, I don't know we have to just figure out we just have to get here figure out what this means all right here we go please don't fall in the water thank you oh terrible frames right now i don't know why that's happening all right here we go what is this place 
What is this place? I kind of want to go in there. Wait, how long do we have for this mission? We got 40 minutes left. And the thing is, I don't even know if that's a lot of time, to be honest. But I just want to quickly... What is the drone doing way over there? I just want to quickly see what this place is all about. Open door. All right. We got some people in here. Hi. Okay. Okay. It looks like... Can I help? Can I... Can I help? They won't let me pick this stuff up. They're not letting me help. Why don't they want me to help? I mean, don't I look perfectly qualified for this? I mean, I came dressed in my science gear and everything. Come on. Let me... Let me just... I just want to help. They're not letting me help. Oh, this. Can I help with the lights? Nope, they're not. They won't let me help with the lights either. What? These bathrooms? No, these are not bathrooms. I thought these were going to be bathrooms. Why are you guys looking at this wall? What's so interesting? Good talk. Good talk. All right. Ooh, darts. Oh, oh, please let me pick up the dart. Oh, no. I wanted to play darts so bad. Okay. All right. What else do we got? What else? What you guys doing in here? Why are you dressed like that in your bedroom? Looks cozy. Okay. And there's the bathroom. All right. Now let's, uh, let's go see what this drone's all about. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are we... This is exactly like the other drones that we needed to, like... We spent so much time trying to drag them across the ground. And they were already next to our boat. And then we had the connectors on our boat to actually attach to them right over here. Because we could turn the magnets on. But how are we supposed to... Look, all right, I'm going to grab it by the handle. Like, look, this is my best effort right now to drag this thing. Ah. Oh. Oh, we need, like, a helicopter or something for this. And I am not qualified to build a helicopter in this game. I mean, this is kind of working, but not really. Like, this is not going to work. Unless I can drag it into the water. But then I can't attach it to my boat. I have no attachment points to my boat. All right, well, uh, we are not equipped for this mission. So we're going to go ahead and do the easier um, transporting safety inspectors. All right, here we go. Off to the inspectors we go. All we got to do is pick up the inspectors right here, deliver them to the oil rig right here, and that should be the final mission for this episode. And uh, now we know that we need to actually start preparing for some more difficult missions. Um, maybe we'll experiment with building a, like a, a helicrane thing that can lift up a drone and deploy it. Um... I really have no idea how helicopters work in this game. They seem very, very complicated from what I've tried before, but hey, we can give it a try and uh, the fail will be half the fun. But 1.1 kilometers to go. I'll see you there. All right, we are approaching the inspectors and where are they? What is this place? Is this a place? Like what? Is this a boat? Well, let's think it might be a boat. A boat of sorts. Why? If you're on a boat, why not just go to the oil rig yourself? I don't understand. Why do I have to pick you up and drive you there? Like, but, oh, okay. Okay, here's the ladder. So apparently I gotta go up here and tell them to follow me into my boat. And luckily I have enough seats for them. I got six seats, we only have three inspectors. All right, here we go, open the door. Hello, people. Don't mind me shining my flashlight in your eyes. It's very dark in here. Here it is without the flashlight. Look at this. What are you, what are you guys doing? You're just sitting down here in complete darkness. What? Do you? I feel like these, I feel like there's some type of sickness or like disease, like mind control thing. These like, they're like zombies. All right, you're an inspector. Um, oh, here, you stand there. Uh, you're an inspector. You stand there. And you're an inspector. You stand there. All right, you follow me. You follow me. You follow me. All right, here we go. You all following me? They're all following me. All right, you guys gonna be able to do this? You're gonna be able to follow me onto my boat? Here we go. Ready? Just climb the ladder. Can you do it? Can you? Really? I thought, I thought they'd be better at this. So you guys are responsible for the safety of that oil rig over there. That does not make me feel very good.
All right, hey, at least we can climb the ladder with a person on our back. All right, so I guess I'll uh, place you in the seat. <sighs> they just need to have every little thing done for them, don't they? <laughs> Imagine if this was like a real life Coast Guard situation where it's like, oh, we got some safety inspectors. They just need a ride to uh, to inspect the oil rig, and the, then then you get there as as the as a chauffeur, and not only do you have to drive them, but you have to pick them up and carry them over your shoulder to your boat in the first place. All right, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to go? I hope so. Let's get over to this oil rig. All right, here we go. I think we are here. Just go ahead and turn our engines off, and I'm just gonna see if they'll follow. I'm gonna put them all over here, and I'm gonna see if they can just follow me off of this boat. All right, follow, follow, follow. All right, I think they're all set to follow me. Now, will they jump off the boat with me? Oh, they're doing it. Will they climb the ladder with me? Oh, they're doing it. Or he's doing it. Are the other ones doing it? Oh, come on, guys. Guys. Guys, please. Can you just... Can you just this once... Can you just, like, please... All right, maybe I just gotta go slower. Follow. Follow. See, like, that guy's following me pretty well, is he? All right, follow. Come on. Come on, he did it. He did it. He jumped off. Why can't... Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, there's another one. All right, can you... All right, can you? All right, follow me, follow me. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it, you got legs. You got, did you, did you give up already? Come on, follow. Jump, please, just jump. All right, you know what, I'm picking you up. All right, there you go. All right, follow, follow. Uh oh, my game froze, please, no. No, 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 no. Looks like, uh, my request to follow me was a little bit too much for the AI, and, uh, it broke the game. So I think this is a good stopping point. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you leave the like button, and make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future content like this. Let me know what you want to see in the next, uh, Stormworks episode. Do you want me to continue some of these missions? Do you want me to just go into the sandbox mode, look at some workshop stuff? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you want to see. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.